All right, guys, so I've been working on the blazer, getting it ready for the fix the fuel leak. So I was gonna drop the tank, replace the filler neck, and then inspect the gas tank. Um, initially, I thought it was the gas tank. Then I realized it looked like it was mostly when I was filling up. So I figured it was the filler neck, bought a new filler neck. And uh, it's a good thing I kept the gas tank out of the black blazer, uh, which actually seemed to be in pretty good shape. Um, for being as much rust as underneath that thing, it appears like the gas tank had been replaced before because it wasn't in that bad of shape. Um, so basically, I just dropped the tank on the ZR2, and uh, I was shocked to see the filler neck is definitely completely rusted out and needs to be replaced. But what I found was there is a hole in the gas tank right next to the filler neck, so it is definitely going to need to be replaced. You can, we'll try to see if I can make sure you can see where that hole is. So right there you can see the hole. And then over there is the tank off of the black Zero Two. Uh, I painted it up uh, just to make it look a little bit better and kind of prevent a little bit of rust. Um, but we're going to swap the fuel pump off of the old tank which is newer than the pump on there. I'll keep that pump as a spare backup uh, just in case because it does work. But I'm glad I was able to find the hole and the main reason for my leak. But both of these parts definitely need to be replaced. And I am uh, going to be happy when it doesn't leak fuel. So I'm going to get back to work and get this completed so that way I can uh, get it back on the road. I am going to have to look for getting a new rubber hoses because I had to cut these to get it out easier uh, the, the clamps weren't releasing and I am also going to try to get some isolator for the top of the tank so that way it's not rubbing metal on metal so I'm gonna work on that alright guys so it's been a few days since I was working on the gas tank I got it fully swapped out the new tank is well the old tank from the black blazer I primed it painted it uh, gloss black and put it under the truck. It's got new filler rubber hoses, a uh, new vent line, a new filler neck going up to the pillar to the gas cap. Um, so it's pretty much new. The, the fuel pump was new um, about a year ago so that got moved over to the other tank um, and then I siphoned the gas really slowly from the old tank to the new one. Um, so I've been driving it now and it's actually getting better fuel mileage now that the fuel system's not leaking gas right out. Um, and it's uh, everything's good, no leaks, no smell of fuel, so uh, doing good. These are now Camaro rims uh, with 31 inch tall Cooper snow tires, Mud and Snow Discoverers. Um, so those came off of my blue Sonoma. They have been uh, donated for the winter from the Sonoma. Sonoma's not on the road, so these uh, tires are much better than what was on here. Um, I changed up the spare as well to the best tire that was on the truck. So this one is not as dry rotted as you can see there is some dry rot in there but it's not as bad as the other tires that were on this truck. Um, so that has been swapped out. The tires do stick out a bit from the fender. As you can see that one's not bad on the rear. The front does stick out a little bit more. Now, the tire is turned right now, so it's not the best example, but it does stick out. Um, so these are 15 by 7 with 4.5 inch back spacing. They're the Camaro rims. I think they were on the IROX. And those have been painted black previously. So I think they look good. They fit the truck very well. I like that they stick out a bit. Uh, not too bad. So when you have 31s on a standard Sonoma, you do need to swap out the rims, preferably. Otherwise, the 31 will rub on the inside of the fender, inside of the frame right here. So let's see if you can get that. So these being the tires that came off of the Blazer, they sit in a lot more than the Camaro rims did. So those are going to need to put spacers in the front. I had spacers on the rear since the rear is narrower than the front on these S10s. I had spacers in the rear that are now going to need to go on the front in order to prevent it from rubbing on the frame. So 
one and a half inch spacers will prevent the rubbing. It makes it the same back spacing as the Camaro wheels. So that is some of the work I've been doing in preparation for winter, getting this thing winter ready and uh, making some progress on it. Uh, I got a few other things to do. So steering's been settled. The gas tank's been settled. That's all good. Uh, the front differential still has a leak. So I want to seal that up uh, before winter. And I'd like to get to the leaf springs, raising the back end up a little bit, getting rid of the sag that's back there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to that. Um, one thing I, the truck needs is shocks and the upper control arms, the bushings are gone. So it preferably needs four new shocks, new upper control arm bushings, uh, ball joints seem fine. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is just wait until spring and then I'll buy the Rough Country two and a half inch kit, which on a ZR2 only raises it an inch and a half, but it comes with upper control arms that are stronger. So I'll replace the control arms on the front. Um, it comes with four new shocks, comes with rear shackles, which this truck will also need. The shackles back there are pretty rusted. Um, so that is uh, some work that's going to come probably in the spring. I'm going to see if I can get it to survive the winter as is. So uh, that is the progress on the truck. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe to see more videos. Otherwise, have a good one.